One really powerful feature of moment generating functions is that not only do they give us a way of calculating moments of functions, but they also give us a nice way to deal with sums of random variables and to say nice things about them. Um, so first, let's, um, let me just set the stage a little bit. Uh, so if x and y are independent uh, random variables, then we can consider the sum x plus y, and we can ask what is the moment generating function for x plus y look like? Well, by definition, this is the expected value of e to the t x plus y. And that is the expected value of e to the t x times e to the t y. Now, if x and y are independent, then we can actually break up this expected value of a product into a product of expected values. This is the expected value of e to the tx times the expected value of e to the ty. And so what we find is that this is equal to the product of the two moment generating functions. So this is nice because it gives us, um, well, some quick information about the sum of random variables, and sometimes it actually helps us identify the sum of random variables as another known random variable. Let me give an example of that. So, for example, suppose x and y are independent uh, Poisson variables. With parameters, uh, I'm going to call it x1 and x2 actually, so that I can call the parameters lambda1 and lambda2. Um, and let's consider their sum. Well, um, so recall. Um, the moment generating function of a, one of these Poisson variables, let's say the ith one, where i is one or two, is given by um, this kind of uh, funny exponential expression e to the lambda times e to the t minus one. Okay. Uh, where the lambda i. So the ith variable is given by an expression like that. Now, what this formula tells us then is we can find, so imprint this in your mind and I will erase it. Is that we can find the moment generating function for the sum by taking the product of the two moment generating functions and that is um, e to the lambda 1, e to the 2 minus 1, e to the lambda 2, e to the 2 minus 1. Okay, and um, I can just combine those, of course. This is e to the sum of those things, which then you can see is lambda 1 plus lambda 2, e to the t minus 1. Okay, now an interesting thing has just happened here. If you look at this, moment generating function for the sum, you can see that it has the same kind of an expression as we started out with. This is the moment generating function of a Poisson variable with parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. But what we know is that the moment generating function completely determines the original random variable. So because the moment generating function of x1 plus x2 is the same as the moment generating function for a Poisson variable with parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2, that tells us that x1 plus x2 
is Poisson. With parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. 